the ansco search or the search widget itself now so you click on that you have a couple of options up here you can search by occupations you can search by cry course and you have the latest updates up here you have the recent searches as well in latest updates you will find all the all the latest update that we have sent you via email as well if you are if you are a subscriber to our newsletter so this is the gist of all the updates that you can get close that and i'll go through search by occupation now i'll type in an occupation chef i'll click on that and it loads up all the information now we have got a couple of things up here um, on the top it says the occupation code and the name up here you have the social media sharing options so you can directly share it share this information on your social media if you are already logged in on the same browser so let's say if you want to share it on facebook you have to be logged in into your account um, in one of the other tabs on the same browser and you should be able to do it easily uh, here you have the inquire now button this is basically for the widget website visitors or widget visitors on your website who are not registered so let's say if someone if a user comes to your website and then is browsing all the information and he has some query he can use the inquire now button he has the name email id phone number and comments and as soon as he puts submit inquiry you should get an email um, with her all the inquiry information and then you can follow up on it the second thing is email free report so if someone wants this information in email uh, in pdf reports then they can get it done via here um, if there you have to just put in your name number and email address and um, the system would send you a report and this download pdf option only comes in if you're logged in into the crm um, so for download pdf if you hit download pdf it would take a minute or two and then just summarize all this information into a pdf format which you can send it to your client um, after the consultation or after the discussion the next feature is we have got google translate integrated as well so let's say if you are giving a consultation someone who is from non-english speaking background we have got a lot of languages up here you can select any relevant language that you want to change it to and once you click on that i'll for for testing purposes i'll go with greek and it would just translate everything into greek i'll go back to the normal um, you have the specializations up here and you have the assessing authority on the side um, if you click on the assessing authority um, it gives you applicable fees the link to the fees if there are multiple fees the processing time on an average and the mode of application if you want the guideline of the relevant assessing authority you click here and it would redirect you to the guideline and the document checklist as well so that's about um, assessing authority um, in the main section we have got the all visa type so basically all the visas that this occupation is eligible for um, including 189 190 so on this sec side we have got the gsm visas on the other side we have got employer sponsored visas for the ease of use um, we, and we have also linked all the information with the relevant lists and legislation so if you click on this link you would be redirected to the relevant government website um, in this case it is legislation.gov.au moving further below we have got the state eligibility so if the client is eligible for 190 you can continue on to browse the state eligibility so this occupation is eligible for all the states um, and multiple streams so i'll click on western australia um, so in western australia this occupation is eligible for two streams graduate list and skilled migration occupation list two so if this is the case um, sometimes one occupation is eligible for multiple lists so what you can um, what you will have the options you select the relevant list and once you click on that you will be able to browse the requirement so this is the general requirement for the uh, applicable to all the clients or all the applicants um, this is the relevant requirement for this occupation and for this stream and this is the specific requirement for this occupation so this occupation would require a six each from the consult from the client for the applicant is eoi statistics recently department of home affairs has removed the information that in which they used to publish how many invitations they have given in what invitation rounds instead they have now put the information about the eoi dashboard so what we do is we 
get the data from the EOI dashboard and publish it here for your use um, in, in an interactive format. So if you see here, you have like 776 EOIs at 65 points and it is if the chart is too complicated for you, you can always go with the table view where all the information is now converted into table view and you can also browse through lodged, held and invited sections. Further on, um, you can also find the caveats that are usually applicable for the employer sponsored visas up here. So you can see all the caveats up here and then further down the last section in this here is the unit group information or the occupation information where it is where it showcases the description of the occupation what they do what is the skill level of the occupation and the requirement of education um, for that occupations and lastly the tasks so what are the general tasks for the occupation of chef and we have also put in the source of the information of where do we get the information from so that's all about the occupation search